you know something? Not many people know this, but I've always wanted my own cooking show. And we just thought, why don't we just do it on the Golf Channel? So everyone, welcome to the first ever episode of What's For Tea, Masters Edition. Look at my setup, huh? What do you think? This is, this is as close as I'm ever gonna get to the Great British Bake Off and I'm very happy about it, all right? It is the Masters Week and with the Masters, we've got many traditions. One of those is a cheese pimento sandwich. And I'm gonna show you how to make one. So, first of all, ingredients. What do you need? Great question. You need your own bread. I baked that myself. Fresh, still warm. You need mayo, cream cheese, Australian. It has to be Australian. Tasty shredded cheese. Roasted capsicum strips. Let's pretend these are pimento because I think this is going to taste better, I'll be honest with you. Pimentos are in the olive family, apparently. Absolutely not happening on this show, all right? Havarti. This is meant to be Monterey cheese. Anyway, moving on. Spices. Cayenne pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder, because I cannot be to cut it myself. There you are. So, with the Masters comes watch parties. You love a good Masters watch party. We don't hear because it ends up being like 2 a.m. in the morning. Thanks, Augusta National. But you can make this on any scale. One sandwich, 47 sandwiches if you're having a Masters party. Tommy, I'm just making one for myself. Sorry. Now we get to Owl's very important chef tip. Cream cheese. Make sure it's at room temperature, otherwise you can't mix it. And it'll be like trying to stir a rock. All right, luckily, We've got the sun of Australia, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a furnace. So this was refrigerated, it no longer is, like me. First things first, grab a bowl. We're prepared, aren't we? <laughs> um, we're going to throw in, we've got no scissors. This is what we've got. We're making a sandwich, not a steak. We've got a small bag of cheese. So I'm gonna throw it all in because you can never have too much of pimento mixture. Finesse. Then we need to grate the Havarti Monterey Jack. Did you get a grater? Did you put your grater up? Just kidding. Right, time to grate some Havarti. If you have too much of it, you'll be farting. This is not grating, it's very mushy. Mmm. <laughs> Damn you, Australian son. So we're just gonna mix this in <laughs> and throw that in there because I think it's gonna be warm enough we're gonna be able to mix it in anyway. It doesn't really matter if it's grated. Some of it decided to grate, the rest of it is melting as we're talking. It's not bad with a terrible knife, is it? Bit of fingers in there as well. Imagine if someone actually thinks I'm a chef. I think quite quickly they realise <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I am. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Then we need our pimento. These are the weirdest looking things I've ever seen. Don't want to tell me. So we should get a shot tracer on the pimento. Did you get it? And then we'll chop these up, finally. Finally chop the pimento peppers. Throw them in. In they goes, what a lovely sound that is. Uh, look, like I say, you can do this with pimento if you really want to, but I'm not, go not going anywhere, 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 anywhere near an olive. All right. This is Al's version of a pimento that's got nothing to do with pimentos, but still very tasty. Cream cheese. It's probably like water now, actually. We've got an audience yet? Yeah, I'll sign things afterwards. I'll, yeah, I'll do it after. A bit of cream cheese in there. Big dollop. Dollop. <laughs> Big dollop. Could be, could it? Right, this is the important part. With all these mixtures, 
we do need. Cut that time in, I want to look professional. With all these mixtures, we do need spices. And we're going to start proceedings off with some onion powder. Now, I've chosen powder because no matter how finely chop, you chop the onion, <laughs> it's not going to be as fine as a powder. So here we are. So two tablespoons of that, but you can season this to your desires. <laughs> Let me leave me alone a minute. Oh, people coming. Now we're throwing the garlic. I love garlic, so get in there, mate. Now, if you're a vampire, stay away. That's all I'm saying. Cayenne pepper. Again, do this as much as you want. Obviously, the more you add, the spicier it gets. I need people to believe I'm really strong and I can't do it. Oh, what's that? Something just cracked. Did you hear that? Approximately 10 hours later. It's starting to look a bit in inappropriate this now, to be honest. I can't open this. Guys, so I did, in fact, once burn a pot noodle. If you don't know what a pot noodle is, ramen noodles, would you say? Yeah. The equivalent of it in the US. It's a part plastic part, you fill it with water, hot water, and you get noodles. It's quite simple. Ah, problem, you've got to boil the kettle. So I, bought, I, did, I thought I boiled the kettle, didn't boil the kettle. It was cold water, decided to put it in the microwave, thought I'd put it on for 60 seconds, I put it on for six minutes. Didn't look great. So in goes the cayenne pepper. Smells lovely actually. That's what you get in. No, 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 spoil it, spoil it. It waits afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I'll see how it turns out and I'll, ask, I'll debate whether I'll show you or not. <laughs> You're going to try this and you're going to enjoy it and you're going to fake it if even it tastes like crap. I mean, welcome back. <laughs> there you go, look, start, start the mixture off. That's everything in, all the ingredients. I think we're going to toast it. In Australia, we have the absolute pleasure of having a public barbecue. Guys, OGs of the channel, public barbecue? Here we are, in a little park that... Um, I said I'd do a meet and greet afterwards. As you can see, we've got a huge crowd of people waiting for my new recipe. So guys, it's not just a stir with this mixture. You need to give it a vicious mix. That vicious that everyone in the houses on the other side can hear you. Can you hear it? I'm loving the technique. Wait, I tell you what, this actually smells really good. Smell it? I was very high pitch. Oh yeah. Ding. Make sure your surfaces are always clean. Clean surfaces, clean mind, is what I always say. Now, the bread I baked earlier. So you can put, you can butter this if you really want to, but the, the mixture is that good, you don't need to. So if you don't want bread like the Sahara Desert, fire away and butter it, you know? We're gonna actually grill the bread. We're gonna knock it up a level. We're gonna grill the slices, because apparently, Master's Week, it's very fresh bread, but people that do it at home, this is a delicacy everywhere in the world, it's set for here apparently, because you, you can't get pimento. Where's the on button? You, you, know, we know, you know we've made it when we're doing this. I think this is it, this is, this is the pinnacle of the channel. This is. Guys, if you do like this, whilst the stove is warming up, if you do like this, let us know, so we can, you know, we won't look at it, we'll, do, we'll be doing more anyway, but just let us know. All right. What, what, what can you do that looks very like professional while this is heating up? What can you do? I ain't got any microwaves or anything. So this is again preference, you can have it as fresh bread, freshly baked bread, or you stick it on the grill. And we're going to toast it. The sun's going to toast this side, the grill's going to toast the other side. Oh, it's getting, it's getting, we're getting, we're getting toasty. Whilst this toasts, we'll be back in five. There you go, that's what we're having. We don't give away, we don't give away trade secrets here. Secret chef. <laughs> yeah, secret chef. <show. laughs> <laughs> That's one word for it. Right, ready?
I think. This is a very technical part because this is where it could all just go wrong. You gotta make sure you get it the right amount. I need to make it look good, don't I? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to pile it on here. Because you don't see these slices when they do it on, on adverts. It's not, it's not like a proper slice, is it? It's OTT. Ladies and gentlemen, the cheese pimento. It's not pimento. Sandwich. That took um, about an hour because we had to wait for <laughs> we had to wait for this to cook. I'm gonna try it. I, I'm not even kidding. That is unreal. Could have gone more, I reckon a bit more pepper, a bit spicy, but you can definitely tell that's in there as well. A bit of a kick. All the cheeses together, the mayo. That is a sandwich, I'd have that again. I'm not even joking. So guys, I would class that as a huge success. The Owl's version of the Pimento, not Pimento, Cheese Masters Augusta National Perth, Western Australia sandwich. There it is. Tommy's just tried it. He seems fine. Don't you, Tommy? Doesn't matter, we've got another camera. Thanks everyone for watching. If you did enjoy that, let us know. We've got many to do over the golf season. We've got all sorts from cocktails to other sandwiches there's all sorts of weird traditions in the golfing uh, universe so we're looking forward to getting more involved in this sort of stuff because it's fun i don't know anybody else is doing it for probably a very good reason thanks everyone for watching the first ever episode of the master special of what's for tea we'll see you next time you done yet are we done Tell me when you want. Tell me when, tell me when you want to stop. stop want me to stop waving. I think I've got stomach ache already. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. This is this is stupid.